Hello. What is what you are seeing is uh, two dark fish. Very nice, uh, very tasty uh, meat. Good uh, eating fish, and uh, they have been just caught. The friend of mine uh, caught few dark fish, and he was uh, very proud to share the two fish uh, with us. So we are going to cook it. So the if you look at the dart fish, you know they have a little small uh, uh, scale. So you need to take the scale out. And one of the unique way of identifying the dart fish is, you know, the, the black spot here. One, two, three, four, five. So they are one of the good fish. There are similar fish. Um, like a dart fish, so one way of identifying by on a silver um, color, there's a dark black spot there. So this is a very good eating small fish. And uh, so let's start cleaning this fish. So what we are doing is uh, we are uh, uh, taking the very nicely taking the small scale out you can see that there's a small scale there and uh, when you take the scale out you can see the skin uh, so they are very small uh, scale so it's when you cook it, before you cook it, you, know, you need to take the scale out and they are very tasty fish. So we have removed the um, scale now. So what we are trying to do is, you know, we are trying to cut the, uh, the uh, bottom and the up uh, thing uh, uh, using a small scissor. So that's a one, one of the best way to cut this uh, uh, the wing. And uh, so you need to have a sharp uh, scissors. Then once you cut it, then cut the um, side one, two, and then at the bottom you get this one so that the uh, uh, them so that the way we you know cut it for the other fish also now we have removed the the wing and uh, so we one more time you know we uh, try to check for a scale um, because uh, it's not good to cook with the uh, you cook in the curry with the scale, but if we are frying, maybe okay. But uh, this one is, uh, you know, so we are making sure that there's no scale um, on the fish. Very beautiful, very nice fish. Good for the curry cooking, good for the gravy. And, uh, that is what we are going to do it today. Okay, uh, we are going to cut the fish into two pieces each. And so we are cutting in an angle so that uh, uh, it's a very sharp knife. So the bones uh, will be maybe a little bit of uh, hard to cut it. also and we'll remove the tail okay. 
<laughs> maybe a good idea to talk with the tail, but it's a very long tail, so we are trying to remove that uh, tail. So that uh, looks very, and same way we are going to cut it. Uh, yeah, going to half that one too. So, so that's the way we are cutting it. So we get the four pieces of the fish. So that I cut it nicely and uh, we remove the tail and we can see the the cut face of the fish. So you see the very very fresh, very the blood is still coming up and very nice now we are going to remove the cut from it and the cut and the gill that we will be removing that so we will take that uh, out uh, yeah split in that Split that. Very important is the big bone there. So take it and pull the gill using the hand. And we have to use the scissors to break the. Now you can pull it a little. Come out. That's a way to take it out. The, the tail out. Sometimes it's easy. Sometimes it's not that easy. So yeah, yeah. You have to pull it a little bit hard so that you know all the intestines or guts is uh, will come out. Pull that. Uh, that nicely and uh, so you can see that uh, that we have removed the gill and the intestines and so that uh, that piece is uh, looking very cool so this one too, so we remove the same thing for the other piece also. So we are ready to cook for this and the fish has been clean and we show a little bit of uh, uh, video on the cleaning the fish because the cleaning the fresh fish is very important. Uh, that uh, it takes some time and it needs, it needs some patience. So that is the way you get the, the taste, the freshness of the fresh fish. Then we are going to add the tamarind um, juice and the coconut milk here and the onion and chilies and the curry leaves are here and the ginger and garlic here. So we use the three cloves of uh, uh, garlic and also uh, five centimeter or one teaspoon of each, uh, ginger and uh, um, uh, half uh, onions and uh, of uh, chili and uh, uh, one sp sprig of uh, curry leaves and uh, what we are going to do is you know we are going to uh, prepare the cook in addition to uh, these ingredients we will use in the fennel seeds and the mustard seeds and the chili powder and the curry powder so they, that's the way to make the, the spicy fish curry a excellent and tasty and the mouth watering okay we are going to start cooking so this is a basically a one step cooking uh, in the one step cooking you know what we are going to do is you know add the fish and uh, prepare for uh, all the, add all the ingredients and uh, uh, one by one so we are adding the, the green chili onion and curry leaves 
so we are adding there so we have not turned on the stove yet so here we are adding the garlic and ginger and also we are going to add the one teaspoon of uh, salt um, then after that we will be adding half a teaspoon of uh, 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 turmeric powder um, so then we are going to add the, our homemade uh, Sri Lankan style uh, curry powder uh, one teaspoon and uh, also that we are going to add the specially made uh, 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 curry powder so so we are adding a one teaspoon of the curry powder um, um, then also we are going to add the fennel seeds so as you can see that we are adding every ingredient that uh, going to be cooked with this one one teaspoon of um, fennel seeds and half a teaspoon of the mustard seeds so then at this stage you know what we are doing is we are going to add the liquid uh, component of the that's a uh, we have added uh, uh, um, two teaspoonful um, um, tamarind juice and also that we are adding the diced uh, tomato uh, paste uh, two teaspoon and then So what we are adding is uh, two teaspoon of uh, uh, coconut milk there and once you add the coconut milk uh, this is part and parcel of making the gravy base so we are adding the water uh, one one and a half cup of uh, water so that uh, that uh, See, once you add the water, and the fish is uh, merged in that. So using your hand and make sure that all mix uh, very well. And the fish is uh, not swimming away or running away from the cooking. Uh, so uh, if the water needed, you know, we may add a little bit of water later on at this stage you know it look great and uh, um, so that is the, the way that we use all the ingredient and uh, cook the fantastic spicy uh, fish curry that is the traditional uh, way of cooking the fish curry from Sri Lanka from Jatna Sri Lanka and uh, that will be a fantastic curry. So now we have turned on the stove and uh, you can see that the four pieces of uh, fish is there and looking great and the gravy base is looking great. Um, lots of onion, you you can use uh, onion, you know, depending on what you need and uh, some other, um, you can cook without the uh, chili or chili powder, you know, to be, avoid the spiciness of this one and you can use other sweet spices uh, to cook this one so at this stage you know what we are going to do is you know we are going to cover it uh, and cook so it. the fish is uh, bubbling and the fish cooking is bubbling and also is looking great you can still see the whole fish there uh, at least the uh, some merge in the gravy i can still see a lot of aroma coming from the gravy so this is the you know the fantastic and the very colorful way of uh, cooking in the fish very fresh fish 
and uh, traditional uh, way of cooking this and we found it you know that's the, one of the best way cook the fish and the quick way to uh, cook the fish and uh, uh, one of the the greatest way to retain the nutrients uh, value of the fish by cooking this uh, uh, fish like this so the fish is nearly cooked at this stage what we are going to do is you know we are going to add some fresh uh, uh, garlic and mix with the uh, cumin powder and the uh, cracked pepper this is very traditional way of uh, building up the, uh, the flavor profile for the fish gravy and so what this one does is uh, uh, lift the, the flavor profile of the fish curry and uh, so once you do that just uh, without uh, breaking the fish just uh, uh, lift, roll it and shake it and uh, so the way will uh, be good uh, way of uh, preparing this uh, fish curry. This is the fish curry, the dark fish curry, very beautiful curry. We started with the four pieces, so we end up with the four pieces, plus the very colorful, very aromatic, very tasty gravy. And you can see that uh, the onion and garlic and ginger and the curry leaves, you know, the all mix into the gravy base. The gravy base is very colorful. And thank you very much for watching this uh, fish curry making video. And appreciate if you could watch other videos from our channel because we are uh, looking for a required number of the watch hours for a YouTube channel. And uh, at this stage, our hours are far, far less than what is required. And also appreciate your subscription to our YouTube channel. Thank you.